Hey y'all, it's been a while since I started a nano saltwater tank, and the floaty island is still doing great today. I made a new rock work for new tank using magnets, so I wanted to show you how I built it. And if you haven't watched the videos of my saltwater tank, they can be found easily in the playlist where all the videos are categorized and being organized, so please check them out. Now if you watched my old videos of the floaty rock work, the key point of the design was the mobility of the rock, which gives the tank more flexibility. I'm a proponent of keeping all of my fish tank fully flexible. So it can be used for something else anytime, and I don't like making setups that are permanent. And I think it's very important for people who want to change scapes often or switch tanks with other creatures time to time without having to redo everything from scratch. And this magnetic rock work, you can change scapes and layout anytime. And I haven't seen others making rock work with magnets quite often, so I hope you find it interesting. Here's a list of the materials that I used. So dry rocks, strong epoxy coated magnet, thick super glues, paper napkins, water in spray bottle, baking soda, and toothbrush. As you can tell by the list of the materials I used, this is a very easy and straightforward design. To position the magnet at the right place, I glue the first magnet on the bottom rock first, and then find out where you want the second rock to be positioned, and then put a piece of paper napkin between the first magnet and the second magnet, so the glue won't get on the first magnet, and then you just need to position the second rock on the top of the second magnet with glue, and this method worked pretty well for me. To make the adhesion quickly, I used the baking soda and spray bottle of tap water as a super glue accelerator. To pour the baking soda, I used a spoon and threw the soda at the glue, but sometimes I can sprinkle, but some position make this process very difficult, so you can blow the powder at the glue or either throw the baking soda at the glue by flick the spoon. For the bottom rocks, I cut pieces of PVC board and attached them as a feet. I didn't want the rock to scratch the bottom of the tank, and also didn't want the rock to crack the bottom of the tank as well, so again, nothing special, it's just to adhere to the rock with super glue and a baking soda. Here's the video of putting the rock work together. So there are many other ways to build this rock work since almost all the rock has own magnet, so you don't need to stick with one certain shape if you get tired, and you can certainly add more rocks with more magnets. And with the power of the magnet, you get to enjoy the freedom to change layouts anytime. Here's the video of the rock work in use. As you can see, I didn't cover up where the magnet's at because I wanted you to be able to see it, and it can easily be hidden by gluing small rocks around that. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found this video useful, and since it was a super simple build, I kept it short and sweet. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I plan to post more videos of other tanks and more DIY videos in the future. See you all soon.